Attention please. This upload is only for educational purpose. No intention to infringe copyrights. Learning English with subtitles GPTRIL. GPTRIL. Definitely a must see. Follow us. For the past 22 years, Sue Dennis believes she's lived in harmony with a number of spirits coming and going through the vortex in her dining room. But recently, since she undertook her own sales, she believes she's invited a violent male presence into her home. For the Living with the Dead team, an overnight vigil proved to be a harrowing experience. Exorcist Ian Lawman returns to Sue's to offer his help. Wow, what a house. Um... I've got to tell you that uh, for the 10 years I've been an exorcist, I would put this place on the map as one of the most haunted places in Britain, I can tell you now. Yes. Um, now, you may think some of the things are nice in here. I would totally disagree with that. Some of the things that we experienced last night wasn't nice. The doll was been played with. Um, a mask fell off the wall out there. Um, energy is all over the place. The problem we've got here, I think there's three spirits that um, um, we need to work with. One of them is a child, a gentleman in the house. I don't like this gentleman at all. Very abusive, very angry, very violent. And then we have this very confused but lovable lady in the house. I feel this lady was either jilted or there's something connected with her wedding or a loss of a wedding or something. Where we're sat now is a portal or a vortex. I feel that from the moment that this was blocked up, you started to have problems. It can't happen on its own. It's impossible for that to happen. So somebody somewhere must have done something. About two weeks ago, we did like a tabletop thing. You've developed some problems for yourself. This is a lesson that we don't mess with something we can't handle. Mm -hmm. okay. Ian believes that Sue's tabletop seance is responsible for bringing forward an abusive male presence, and the best way to deal with it is for Sue to re-establish contact. He sends Sue alone up to her bedroom, and the group watch via a monitor. Sue, can you hear me? I can hear you, yeah. Okay, now I want you to call this spirit forward. And we're here to protect you. Middle-aged Sue has her eyes closed. The spirit that's here with me in the room at the moment, I know you're here, but I can't see you. If you need to come to me, if you want to come to me, please come forward so that I can see you and I know that you're here. They all watch Sue intently on the downstairs TV. Sue, eyes still closed, wears a cross round her neck. It's a man. What's he saying to you? I've not to be afraid. Who is it? Night vision film of Sue. Who are you? George. Mum, what does he look like? Old, 64. Going bald. Is Tilly in there with you? No. Tilly, can you come to me, Tilly? Please, I'd like you to come to me, and when you do, just let us know that you're here. Ian turns to the rest. I'm going to go up and try and get Tilly with her. Good. Ian thinks the spirit George is preventing Tilly from coming forward, so he heads upstairs to help Sue. I'm going to try and channel Tilly. OK. Do you want me up there, Ian? Not at the moment, Johnny, if there's a problem. OK. Ian, now beside Sue in the dark, closes his eyes and takes deep breaths. Downstairs in the well-lit living room, Johnny concentrates, eyes closed. He's with you, Sue. Is he trying to get really, really close and inside me? He wants you, Sue. Ian's head is bowed, he stares down. Is he here to hurt all of us? Just you, Sue, and me. He's coming. Yeah. Don't like him. No. It's OK. You stay with me, Tilly. We've got each other. OK, I'm going upstairs. Johnny feels that Ian needs help, so she too goes up to the bedroom. 
Johnny faces Sue in the dark. Don't be afraid, Sue. Just remember that you're protected in white light. Mm. Who are you? Ian jerks his head up, holds it momentarily, then lets it drop, his body swaying slightly as if possessed. Johnny looks concerned. Ian? Talk to me, Ian. No. And who are you? I'm talking to you, Mr. I need to sleep. Johnny shines a torch. Not here, you don't. I'll sleep it off. Ian appears to be channeling two spirits at once, the little girl and the abusive man. Bloody kid out my way. He's run away. Your presence is no longer wanted here. He's run away. Tilly? He's gone. Is he hiding? Yeah. He's downstairs. He's downstairs. Sue, are you okay? <laughs> he likes Michael. He likes Michael? Yes. Did he have a son, Tilly? Ian rocks side to side. Do you have a family? He used to batter his son. Tilly, I want you to move aside, sweetie. I want to bring Ian back. No. Stay in here with Sue. You can stay here, but you need to move away from Ian. Sue. Right, sit down next to Sue, sweetheart. Hold out your hands, Sue. Sue grimly holds out her hands. Thank you, darling. Good girl, darling. Good girl. Stay with Sue. Okay, me? Mm. Ian finally opens his eyes. Talk to me, Ian. I'm fine, Johnny. Let it out. The presence of this evil gentleman has really shaken Sue up. I'm sorry. You did all you could. I'm sorry. Did you? You did all you could. Ian puts a consoling arm around Sue. <laughs> okay, good news. We've sorted out Tilly, and now we have to deal with Maria, who is the lady who's in love with the wedding dress. So we're all moving downstairs right now. We're going to bring the wedding dress into the front lounge and bring Maria forward. The team believe this female presence is sad because she was jilted at the altar, so they fetch the wedding dress downstairs in the hope that it will lure her into the room. Once in the dining room, they hope they can send the entity, believed to be a woman by the name of Maria, back to the spirit world through the vortex. Maria, if you can hear the sound of my voice, and I hope that you can, I want you to come inside this dress, stand inside this beautiful dress, and we're gonna move you to the light. Is that okay with you, Sue? Yes, Maria, you, you just come forward to have the dress. Can you hold hands around her? Dress. Yes. Just reach over. Okay, great. Okay. Johnny grabs Michael's hand. Maria, come inside the circle. Walk towards the light, sweetheart. Stay in the light. Holding hands in a circle, everyone stares down earnestly. It's okay. Just stay in the light. Ian looks up and moves round behind Johnny. It's okay, Johnny. You're doing well. You're doing really, really well. Well done. It's okay, Johnny. Stay strong. Well done. Okay, deep breath, Johnny. Keep there. Maria. You see him talking, darling. Can you just take the emotion away from my friend, please, so she can help you? <sighs> Please take the emotion away. That's it. Just take the emotion away. Johnny's face contorts in distress. She exhales. Okay, thank you. I feel you, Maria. Ah, oh, in your beautiful dress. Ian guides his open palm up and down behind Johnny's back. She's gone, I think, Johnny. The overpowering emotion in the room becomes too much for Louise. Ian? Ian? Two seconds. Ian. It's Louise. Louise, just take no, deep breaths. Maybe. Just okay. take deep breaths, sweetie. OK, Maybe just let, just just relax, deep breaths. Just let it come. Nice just let the emotion come. It's got to come out. 
Well done. Well done. <laughs> talk me through it. Just talk. Keep talking to me. Just talk. Keep talking. Tell me what you're feeling. <laughs> go ahead, honey. Just go ahead. Let it go. Oh, God, no. Louise lies crumpled on the floor. OK, come on. Give her a hug. <laughs> Give her a hug. Well done. It's just, it's just residual energy, oh. what she felt. Can we get Mum? Mum, can we, can we go in there, darling?